I'm technical manager here at Rutland Plastics. We're predominantly a trade injection moulder. Uh, we can mould anything in any plastic on the market. We've got an object Connect 350 machine which can print materials ranging from a soft touch rubber to a hard plastic. Predominantly we used to make jigs and fixtures machining them out of aluminium or steel. We now probably produce 90% of our jigs and fixtures on the 3D printer. It saves a lot of time and money. We use a number of different jigs. Um, we use them a lot in quality control to actually measure parts and components, um, also as go and no-go gauges. We also use them out on the shop floor to cradle parts while we add inserts or actually using jigs to help us cradle parts while we assemble them so it aids us in the assembly. The main problem with um, the traditional method of manufacturing jigs is it takes up um, a lot of time in the tool room. The tool room is there to predominantly manufacture mould tools and when we're making jigs and fixtures we're getting less work done on manufacturing the mould tools. The main benefit of using a polyjet printer to manufacture jigs and fixtures is the time. It's so quick we can design a jig during the day, print the, the jig at night and the next day we come in there's no need for any machining. We can then put that jig straight into production. And another great benefit is we can use a combination of rigid and soft touch materials in one print. It allows us to create soft touch faces. A lot of the time if we're cradling a moulding, um, that moulding will have what we call an A face, which is a face that is going to be predominantly visible um, when it's on the marketplace and we don't want this A face being scratched or scuffed. So we use the soft touch to actually create a protected surface and it stops the part from getting scratched. We can add text to jigs. This text is quite clearly highlighted and it doesn't rub off. Using the object machine to manufacture jigs and fixtures, I think we save approximately about 60% on time and maybe about 40% on cost. The additional benefit of 3D printing jigs and fixtures is that if one gets broken or lost, we've always got CAD data which is quickly sent down to the printer and we can then print another jig or fixture um, either during the day or overnight. We did look at other machines on the market but we felt that the object machine would fit into our portfolio better and give us more versatility. If you were thinking of getting a, uh, a Polyjet 3D printer, I highly recommend it. Being a designer, we don't have machining constraints anymore. We can literally 3D print something that we wouldn't be able to manufacture any other way.